Shalom, first and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations, and to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. I am the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. For the new listeners, Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of his only begotten son. All right, I'm going to hop straight into it. Um, Cornelius was not an Edomite. Right? He wasn't a, a, a Gentile. All right. Oh, let me plug this up. All right. So we're going to start in Acts 10 and 1. It says there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band. All right. So he... um was in the Italian band. So you will say that, oh, he see, he was a Roman. He was an Edomite. That's not the case. You had a lot of Israelites living in, um, in that part of, living among the, uh, the Italian band, right? Italy. Let's find the scripture and, um, I think it's Acts. Salakia. Oops. 18. All right. And it's, uh, nope. Right, Acts 18 and 1. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Jew named Aquila. Pay attention, a certain Jew, an Israelite named Aquila, born in Pontus, Italy. Come from, no, forgive me, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy with his wife Priscilla because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome and came unto them. So you had Israelites in Rome. All right. So you had um, Aquila, a Jew and his wife come from Italy. All right. And Corn and see, he was Israelite. And so what? Claudius commanded them to depart from that land. All right. Cornelius was an Israelite, just like Aquila and his wife was just living in that land. All right. Israel, Israel has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. At that time, we were already we already uh, had a disperse. OK, among the, the heathens. That's Acts, the second chapter. You know, you could read it. Where all the lands that those Jews were. All right, so you had, he, he wasn't the only, um, there was like, there was no Israelites in Rome. There was like no Israelites in Italy. No, they Jake everywhere. All right, let's grab, um, as a matter of fact, which one was that one? All right, we're back in Acts 10. And um, verse two, it says, uh, a devout man and one that feared God with all his house, which God, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. So he was a godly man. He was in a, he was a devout man, right? He feared God. He gave a lot of alms to the people. He prayed to God. 
Let's look up um X two and five, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. All right. So that was going into um, those Jews that were scattered amongst all these nations. When you read down, all right, you can read verses 9 down to you know, 11. Those were the lands that Jake was scattered to. And those um, men were what? Devout men that were Jews. Israelite men just like Cornelius was. So there's only one, the, there's one good Edomite out of all Esau. Nope, absolutely not. Let's go back to, um, let's go back to Acts 10. <clears throat> Verse three, he saw in a vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming to him and saying unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, who is it, Lord? And he said unto him, thy prayers and thine alms are come up for a memorial before God. Okay, so his uh his charity, you know, was received by God. And um let me see, hold on. Okay, yep. And the heavenly father isn't listening to the wicked all right because um he can't be edomite he's uh because esau edom is of the wicked and they <laughs> the lord ain't even dealing with them all right let's grab um let's grab hebrews you know what i want to read it in this Hebrews 13 and 22. <clears throat> so it says this. And I beseech you, brethren, suffer the word of exhortation, for I have written a letter unto you in few words. Know ye that our brother Timothy is set at liberty with whom if he comes shortly, I will see you. Salute all them that have the rule over you and all the saints. They of Italy salute you. Grace be unto you all. Amen. And then you got the footnotes, right? It says written to the Hebrews from Italy by Timothy. That lets you know there's Hebrew Israelites, all right, which are the saints. I'm going to prove who the saints are living where? In Italy. Just because Cornelius is from the Italian band, he's an Edomite. You know? No, no. <laughs> All right. That don't mean that. Hey, as a matter of fact, <clears throat> Paul said that he's a Roman, right? But then he also says that uh, he's uh, an Israelite from the, uh, the, the tribe of Benjamin. <laughs> so... Being a Roman is just a citizenship. All right, we're so called of uh, citizens of uh, wherever you're from, America. All right, 
that doesn't necessarily mean that's what nation you come from. Let me see. Let's go to Psalms. Where is it at? Prove who the saints are. Psalms 148 and 13. Let them praise the name of Yahweh, for his name alone is excellent. Right? Let them praise the name. All right. Uh, the scriptures say that it is dreadful for the um the heathen. The name of Yahweh is dreadful among the heathen. They can't even call on the true name. But the true Israelites are calling on his name. All right. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people. God's people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel and people near unto him. Praise ye Yahweh the Lord. So there you go. The saints are the children of Israel. But uh, let me see. Yeah, pretty much just something brief. How willing I can uh, read more into uh, Acts, the 10th chapter, because it also goes into the vision. Which represented those unclean beasts represents Israelites. All right. That. um Are basically in the Gentile state of mind. You know, living as heathens, being unclean, or to represent Israelites. It didn't mean, oh, Peter, eat unclean food, undefiled food. No, it was a vision of um, the Israelite foreigners. And to prove that really quick, Acts 10 and 28. And he said unto him, and he said unto them, ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation. But God hath showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Right. So that vision was speaking about calling man common or unclean. And how will I could do a part two to this? How will in this part was I define to next time? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Kakadash, Brakadam, Shalom.